the more we hold on to something, the harder it is to let it go, right? And this is true for so many aspects of our life. The more we let go onto that relationship, the more we let go on to the outcome of, of this career or that thing, the more we hold on to it, the harder it is mentally to carry on with our lives. And we end up driving ourselves crazy with the what ifs and the whys and the maybes and the what if, and we drive ourselves insane. So today what I wanna talk about is Wu Wei, and this is based on Taoist philosophy. Um, perhaps you've seen this before, uh, Taoism, it's spelled T-A-O-I-S-M in the West, but this is actually the, <laughs> the wrong translation. It's pronounced Taoism, and uh, it comes from ancient Chinese philosophy. And so one of these principles of it that I want to talk about today is Wu Wei. I first heard about this about 15 years ago when I was studying Alan Watts, and I was studying uh, Buddhism, and uh, this is actually the book that I had 15 years ago uh, when I was um, first studying it. And it goes into yin and yang and all sorts of just great, you know, Eastern philosophical, philosophical ideas and something that I, I, I really, I really associate with. Uh, I'm not a religious person, I'm a very spiritual person. And this is really about self enlightenment and it doesn't just give you the ready made answers, but it sort of, you know, gives you these, you know, these hints and ways to kind of look at life. And that's so, that's what I want to present to you today. I, it's not necessarily giving you an answer, but an idea that you can take with yourself. Now, Taoism literally translates to the way. And if you are a pure Taoist, you'll know that Taoism is technically not supposed to be explained. As it's said in Taoism, it is everything and, and it is nothing. And it is, it cannot be taught, but it can be learned. Very confusing, very paradoxical. <clears throat> I know. However, stick with me. And I want to I want to break this down to a very simple idea. And again, this is my idea, how, how I view Wu Wei, how I've used it in my own life. Now, <clears throat> the idea of Taoism is the idea is to more unify the, the human mind, body, and spirit. And it believes that the more that humanity gets away from its relationship with nature and the natural way of things the further we actually get away from ourselves. So Taoism was created by Lao Tzu, uh, you know, thousands of years ago. And the, the, one of the fundamental purposes of this philosophy was to live more harmoniously, right? You can, you can still pursue, you know, your goals. You can still be active what you want to do. Wu Wei is not a passive philosophy as people think it is you know in action that that's just not true it's more thoughtful action it's more natural action that's that's the idea behind it now i've done another video on the law of reversed effort with alan watts the backwards law and i've explained this you know in its basic practical form now we live in such a busy time nowadays we're, we're more distracted than ever Technology has just completely changed our lives. And, you know, you think that it would actually make us a lot happier, but the truth is, is that it's not. We're more anxious, we're more depressed than ever, and we tend to be in our heads so much. And we have all these devices that kind of take us away from the natural realm of things, you know, even though I love technology. However, I realize that, uh, yeah, sometimes I need to get away from it. And, Another way to look at the natural way of things is that we need to learn to be more present in our daily lives. Now, you'll notice that when we're more present, we're a lot happier. You'll notice this when you're having sex. You'll notice this when you are playing sports with friends. I notice this when I'm playing music. You know, time disappears. And when I can learn to just be authentic and, and be present in the moment that I'm living, like, I am so much happier all the time. I, I've, you know, you know, you notice this. If there's something that you love to do, you notice that time disappears. And it's only when we, you know, maybe Monday rolls around, and we have to go to the job and we're dreading that job. And then we're dreading the drive to that job. And then seeing that person at the water cooler, oh, I don't want to talk to them. And, you know, we get in our minds and then we're, where are we living? We're living in the future. And this is where all this anxiety and depression and sadness comes from for people. 
You know, it could be from dreading a conversation you're going to have some, with somebody. It could be wanting to be with somebody so bad, you know, and you, it's all you think about. You put this person up on a pedestal and, you know, you're just so attached to that one thing. And if you know anything about Buddhism is that, you know, attachment is the root cause of suffering. Now, it's okay, I think, to be attached to certain things in life, as I mentioned before, in terms of my family, <laughs> you know, I love my family. I am attached to them and that's okay. But, you know, certain attachments, especially in modern society, you know, we're attached to so many things, uh, computers or, or, or cars or uh, that certain job. And, you know, I think these are the attachments that we need to focus on. And this is where Wu Wei helps us to, you know, take a step back, be more conscientious and live a little bit more of a harmonious life. So, so basically, Wu Wei literally translates to non-action or, um, you know, it, Wei, Wu transforms to uh, non or negates and Wei translates to action or force. So it's like non-action, non-force. And so when we can learn to use this approach in, in our daily lives, you know, we can learn to not only get the things we still want, but we can do it with, you know, um, more peace, more tranquility. You know, like Buddha said, there is no path to happiness. Happiness is the path. You have to just choose to be something. You have to just choose to live and be that authentic person in that present moment. I think we get so attached to things in life, that car or this person is gonna make me happy. And once I get these things and I collect them all, that would be my precious and that would be happy finally, right? Well, that's just completely not true. Why, why have, I don't know if this has happened to you, but some of the poorest people in the world, uh, I've met people with next to nothing and they are the happiest people I've ever met in my life as I've traveled around the world. Why is that? Because some people are just not attached to things. Or people with less. Why are they more giving than, you know, why are they seeming to be more giving to world and humanity than well, a lot of wealthy people? You know, you'll notice there's just people who just live in their humility, humility, you know, and they're not so attached to material obligations that, you know, they know the true essence of life and being content with things. And you know, things change. You know, that's another essence of Taoism is that being aware that things change, nothing remains the same at all times. So it's about acceptance and letting go. And I think we need to do this with our lives on a daily basis. And I don't know if this has ever happened to you before, but I have I remember I've dreaded job interviews before and I thought about it, I was nervous. I was thinking about the perfect things to say, the perfect things to do, the perfect things to say. And, up until the moment of the interview, walking through the doors, I was nervous. I didn't know what I was going to say. And I just wanted, I wanted, I wanted, I wanted it so bad. And then I've relaxed and I just went, you know what? If I don't get it, I don't get it. If I'm not the right fit, I'm not the right fit. And I decided at that moment, I'm just going to go in there. I'm going to be myself. And I hope they like me. I hope they accept me. That'd be great. And if they don't, then I'll, I'll look for another job. And I remember going to a job interview like that, just being myself and having a great time and being really present and um I, I i wasn't aware if 20 minutes went by or 45 minutes went by and i was just present i was having a conversation with somebody i was looking them in the eye i was telling them who i was and i left that interview thinking oh my god i'm an idiot like why did i say that or why did i do that i didn't mean to do that and then what do you know I got the call and i got the job you know and that's blown my mind before and I, but i learned that i was just being authentic i was being myself and I wasn't being needy or trying to be someone else. And I think, I think, you know, people who try to hire you in jobs, I think they could pick up on that needed energy and that energy that is not quite authentic. And I think this is why Wu Wei is so, so important. It's, it's more effortless, you know, it's just, it's a better way to be. And if you look at these little examples in your life, like I mentioned with this job interview, You'll notice that it's just much better. If you've ever had a conversation with somebody um, casually out and about and maybe someone that you're maybe attracted to and perhaps you didn't really have any goal in mind and you were just talking, but the conversation ended up being really good. And then before you know it, you're like, this person's coming on to you, you know, and, you know, or they're calling you the next day or, 
and you're like, I didn't mean for this to happen, but I'm really glad it did. And um, and it's weird because I'm really excited. Whereas this person who I really liked, I went after them like crazy. I was texting them or calling them constantly and they didn't want me. Why is that? Right? Because you were being your authentic self. You didn't have a goal in mind. You were just being sincere. You know, I, I know this happened for me before. Um, you know, I and there's also times for me where I perhaps dreaded a conversation. Um, I remember uh, having a, a conversation. I wanted to talk to a friend about something. I remember being terrified to actually say something about it. And I brought it up and I was thinking beforehand, you know, how is going to go bad? How is it going to go terribly? Um, because I didn't want to mess up the dynamic that we already have, but I needed to let this friend know that I was really unhappy with something that happened. And I was really dreading it. And I, and I thought they'd be defensive and I thought that it would go really badly. And I did, I brought it up. I was very calm. I made, I made my points. And this person reacted very, uh, very humbly. Uh, they were, they were, they were, they were very cordial. Um, they were humble, and they apologized to me in the end. And something that I thought that was going to blow up in my face uh, didn't, and it went really well. And I ended up, me and this person ended up, you know, getting along better than ever. And because I was being, I was choosing to be truthful and authentic, they appreciated that. And they picked up on it and now our, our relationship is better than ever so you know this is Wu Wei. this is effortless you know this is you know when you learn to just go through the motions and just do it and not think of the future or live in the past and learn to be present about things you become effortless and you just flow like water and it's much easier to live life that way so i hope this is making sense to you in some way i'm trying to give some practical examples about it you know, if you're a pure Taoist, you know that you're not supposed to explain Taoism because it can't be explained. It can only be learned, even though Taoism is everything and nothing. You know, I know it's a crazy paradox, but the more you study it, the more it starts to make a lot of sense. You know, the more we can get out of our heads in our lives, the better off we are in general. And I found that it took me, it's taken me many, many years, decades uh, to really understand this philosophy. But once you do, and you start putting it into practice every single day in so many ways, oh, it just, the weight just comes off your shoulders, just, whew, and yeah, you start to live just with so much more peace, appreciation, and just gratitude in your daily life. So, uh, so this has gotten a little bit long now, guys. I do apologize. I wanna give you uh, four practical ways to leave you with in terms of using Wu Wei in your daily life. So number one is, Believe in yourself and don't try to convince others. And, you know, basically this is not overcompensating and uh, putting on a show with your life. You know, you want to live truly and you want to live sincerely. Number two, be content with what you're doing and don't seek approval of others, right? So those who are truly content in life, we, you know, you don't need permission to do that. Number three, Accept who you are and don't apologize for it. I think through fear of perhaps our parents, our limiting beliefs, or society, there's many reasons. I think sometimes we're given reasons uh, not to be ourselves. And it's only when we get away from ourselves is when we're truly unhappy. So accept who you are and don't apologize to anybody for it. And then number four, always be present in everything that you do. Like I mentioned, um, if you'll notice, you know, take take time during the day, you know, just to go for walks. And I like to do this. I like to go for walks and I like to put on music and I like to just observe what's going on around me. And I like to pick out things that are beautiful. I know this sounds very cheesy, uh, but it's, it's part of mindfulness and it's part of gratitude. Uh, mindfulness is a bit of a buzzword nowadays, I know, for, you know, yoga moms, but... You know, mindfulness goes back to Taoism and Buddhism and meditation of thousands of years ago. So there's a lot of practicality to this. But always notice that there's something beautiful going on. The sun is shining. You know, there's, uh, you know, little kids playing together on the playground. You know, you know, someone is helping someone across the street. Someone's picking up trash. 
uh, you know, anything. It can really be anything, you know. There's always something beautiful going on in the world. And, you know, don't let things get you down that you have no control over. In the future of a person, it's just not a good way to live your life. And that's what Taoism is all about. Making sure you maintain that relationship with nature, with the natural way of living. Being in this world, not being in your head all the time. And from the king overthinker, I can tell you that this will radically change your life. So be more Wu Wei in everything. All right, guys. Well, I hope this made sense and I hope you got something from it. Make sure that if you are letting go of, or if you're holding on to something too much, make sure to just let it go and you will be surprised at uh, how your life just opens up, I think. So please leave your comments below if you enjoyed this. Please let me know if uh, there's something that inspired you or maybe you thought of something in your life where perhaps, uh, you know, Wu Wei has actually worked and how you can apply it. And as always, please like and subscribe uh, to the channel. I'd really appreciate that. And uh, thank you guys for spending this time with me. I really appreciate it. Lots of love.